Hey all guys, welcome along to the first video of 2012. Yeah, I'm just going to do a, a kind of mixed video. I've got some pickups and um, I'll just mix this video up with, you know, kind of what our plans are for the next year and, um, and my thoughts of the game that came out last year. Um, okay, so let's start with that, the game that came out last year. And it kind of tied in my kind of resolution because I'd said I was never going to, um, I was not going to buy all these new games on release date. And I know a few guys on YouTube had said the same. Um, because of the prices dropping really quick with most of the games, and a lot of the times I buy games and they sit there for a couple of months anyway before I even play them, so there was no point in actually buying these games brand new. Um, Different if I was a big, massive online player, which I'm not. But I, I could see why you'd want the, the brand uh, new game if, it, if you're a big online player. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just a kind of casual online player, so I don't need these games brand new on the least day. So last year I done that, I ended up only buying two games um, brand new. One of the games that I talked about all the way through last year, which was LA Noir, and I bought that um, on release. And um, I ended up buying NHL 12, but it wasn't planned, but um, I bought that on release. Um, so that was the two games I bought, and the rest of them I picked up at a, you know, a couple of months down the line. And, um, so you got, I got them for cheaper, which is, I mean, some of these prices just drop rapidly. I mean, that uh, Deuce X, I mean, that just, brilliant game, it got brilliant reviews, it got top game of the year, but the price just went... And now, I mean, I ended up buying the uh, limited edition, but it's no limited day. It's extra weapons or whatever, extra skins, but for like £10 odds, brand new. It's still sitting there, it's not played it yet. So, um, I've got another game here, which I'll show you a pick up that, you know, the uh, price of that went straight down. So, that's, I'm still planning on doing that next year. I don't know, I haven't just really looked to see what is coming out um, next year. But um plan still is still the same, I'm not gonna be buying new games on release. Um plans for my channel, I'm just gonna just keep continuing what I was doing, I'm doing. Um I don't know I, I, I don't know what my plans are for buying consoles and that you know, I've got most of my consoles that I kinda wanted. I, I would love to get into the computers that I had when I was young. So I was a spec I grew up with a spectrum and then when I was a teenager I'll, there was an Atari ST in the house, so I played a lot of games on that. And it would be great to have them, to get them in. But I've, I've no got the room. I've not got, I mean, I would end up buying these and they'd be put away in a box and put away. I wouldn't even really get the chance to play them. Um, so, I mean, I'm not planning on buying them. If I come across some dead cheap, a like car boot sale when the summertime comes around or whatever, or if I manage to somehow get them for somewhere, great, but... Um, it's not a major plan, I'm not a delicate need being that. I mean, because, you know, I'm a, I've got four kids, there's three lassies in this just at the time, I've got two boys that come and visit, they're just not good. I've not got the room, and I've got the, all my games and that stored up in the attic at the moment, but that's just a temporary thing because, you know, there's three girls in this house saying, so when they get up and get older, they're going to get a room for themselves. So my stuff will have to come out there and go and store it somewhere, which I don't know where they're going to get stored, but um, it used to be on this cupboard here, but, um, I can't store everything in there, I've still got stuff, I have my Xbox stuff, toys, so I've not got, I can't store it on there. Um, I might end up getting a 3DS this year, but I'm, I'm starting to kind of look at that, because there's better games coming out. The PSP, nah, I'm not interested at all in the PSP, looks good, I mean, I mean um, but I'm not excited by it, and um, no plans whatsoever for pre-ordering it or buying it whatsoever. Um, I mean, I've got a PSP there, which I didn't even really play. I mean, but that was just ridiculous amount of price when that first came out, and I'm no way I'm going to be spending over 200 quid on a, a PSP, you know. I mean, it's just no for me. Um, just same with the 3DS, I wasn't interested in the 3DS. I mean, I'm starting to look at the 3DS now, but it's been out for a while now, so there's all these good games out for it. But, um, my plan, my table, my 
I am planning doing a resolution. I mean, I'm not going to talk about collecting for a system or collecting whole sets or whatever. What my resolution for this year is to try and maybe communicate better with people. I tend to only communicate with the people that I know and that I've known for the last couple of years on YouTube. So it's the same people that I communicate with. Yet I watch a lot of other videos and I don't really, I don't really um, comment on them. Or if I do, it's just a wee couple of words. I don't really communicate as well, even though I've, I've been watching them for a long time. So I'm going to try and make that effort and um, communicate with these other guys that I've seen and, and I, that I've watched over the years. Um, it's very hard for me to find new guys because, um, like I've talked about, I've not got the time to sit on the internet and look at you know for new videos. So. When I find new guys, it's only because it's through other people, or somebody just give a wee shout out to somebody, you know, because they've, they've found them. Um, but I'm going to try and communicate better with people that I've watched over the years, but maybe they didn't know that I've watched them. Because um, I, I tend to stick to the same the people I've known for years on YouTube. So it's only them I really speak to. Whereas I, it's, YouTube is all about um, communicating with each other and communicating with different types of people, not just the people that you think you would get along with in the outside world, but <coughs> as my phone goes, but um, to try and communicate with different types of people. So that's what our plan is. Okay, let's just uh, stop me blathering and get on with the pickups. I'll tell you what I do, I never really got gaming stuff for my Christmas. The only thing I got here was a couple of um, gadgets here that it's really, really nice, I thought. So the first one here is a, is a money bank, but it's... Um, in our case, Space Invaders, which is really cool because you put, you actually have to put money into it for it to play. It's a very simple game, and you know, it's no, it's not a game you play for hours, it's a, it's a great wee item that you have in your games room on the shelf. Um, but you have got to put money in it for it to work. So I thought that was cool, I got that for my life. This thing here, which is really cool, it's not game related, but it's just thought it's cool. And if I can show it right, I don't know if we could, um, if I can see that. What I'll do is, I'm going to put it down here and I'll, show, I'll turn the camera in. Yeah, can you see that? There we go, there we go, right. It's a Doctor Who, it's a black disc. You can see the TARDIS. Right there, you see the TARDIS? Hey, what's that? My finger's gone right through it. It's like a hologram. And when you go right up to it, oh there we go, you can see it quite clear in it. It's the light here's not that great. You've got to be at an angle. Actually, it's inside. There we go, there we go, there we go. So it's really, really cool. See, nothing here, nothing here. I'm going to go like that. Cool, eh? So that was a couple of gifts I got. Pickups time. Um, and that was I never ever got I never got any gaming stuff on Christmas. I really wanted to get Skyrim. I thought I'd get Skyrim because it was going for twenty two pound before Christmas. It's back up to thirty five. Um, but anyway, a couple of things I ordered from Game just before Christmas or just after Christmas. Just had their sale, and then I went in and bought and then I bought a few things. One of the games I picked up and I talked about, prices dropped rapidly. Here's one of them, Brink. £2.97 that was or something. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Pre-owned, I mean, this is special edition. I've really learned to do a different video for these stupid fucking special editions, because they're not special. You know what I mean? What they put it, it contains extra bonus, which is the Doom Park and the Spec Ops Park. So what? Wow, that's no special edition to me. Special edition is art book. It's a figure. It's, you know... It's something different, it's no extra content. Although this is pre owned, so I think there must have been a code with so I, I didn't get that extra stuff. I mean, it's no expensive to buy if I, if I really went into it. I think it's 160 points if I wanted to get the Doom pack of a special pack, but. Um, bring, 297. Um, a couple of other games I picked up. I had, I, I had cracked down 
before, but some of them must have gave it away and no good it, so I got it this back. It was £2.97 again or, or something. Uh, I wanted to get that back because I liked that and I, I collected a lot of the orbs and um, I actually bought download 20 of this ages years ago, which I've still, um, which I've still got, so I wanted to get that back in the collection. Red Steel 2 for the Wii. Um, I've got Red Steel the first one, so I picked up this £2.97 again. Um, I was completing that. So it needs the requires the motion plus bits I've got, so um, that was good. A game I picked up as I've been wanting for a long time. Um, I'm a bit of a big connect, but I've got the connect, and um, the first one of this was never out of the system. So I picked up the second one, it's Connect Sports Season 2, which is excellent, it's really good. Not as good as the first one, simply because. On the first one, you've had your, like different um, sports, but you had the athlete athletics, and in that you had five different events. Is that right? Five. So then that became a you know even more with this. has got six events in it. Some of them are good. The golf's really good in it. The darts are excellent. I really like the darts. Um, you've got tennis, baseball, American football, and skiing, and they're all really really good. I mean, American football now obviously you've got running and the sports. You're throwing it and running. So that's your fitness for that. Um, your baseball as well, you're swinging the bat like your kind of wee baseball. But um, you're running to bases and that. So it's, you know, it gets your fitness up in that. So um, that's complete because I've got that new. A couple of strategy guides, well, three strategy guides I've got here, they're all cheap. All new. First one is Mini Ninjas. Which I've got, I've got this game, I've never played it, but I've got this, I think it's one pound load, one fifty or one ninety seven or unbelievably cheap anyway. And I like my strategy games. I picked this up at a um, boxing, boxing day when I went shopping, Gears of War 3. I mean, I've got a Gears of War Gear 3 game. Um, so, but I knew this was down to four pound or something, four pound. So I thought, yeah, because I like to, um, I could, Look for to get all the cogs and that. I mean, once you've done it, all you can go back and collect all your cogs or whatever else there is. But um, very nice. And this one is extremely nice, and it's a collector's edition. So I love collecting collector's edition uh, strategy guides. And it's for Killzone Three. Now this was nineteen ninety nine, down to four pound ninety five. What it was? Maybe even less than that, because you had the normal version of Killzone Three it was down to one ninety. Five or one ninety seven. I bought the collector's edition, um, which is super. I don't know. I can't see me using it. I don't know what you would need it for. But it's got really nice. It comes with a quick um, reference card, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's got you know, because it's hardback as well. Really, really, really nice. So, I like the strategy guides, especially the collector's edition. Um, and I also, because I've got the um, collector's edition for the Killzone 3 game, so I thought that I'm getting the, the kite to go along with my game because they're both collector's editions. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. This kind of mixed bag of videos. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year, and I look forward to um, watching all your videos in 2012. Cheers.